This is not the deepest slot canyon in the world. This is in the front yard at Three Canyons Permaculture Farm. What we're installing here is an earth tube system. One of the many forms of geothermal em energy we talk about on the channel. What we have in our greenhouses in our experimental greenhouse that we started building two years ago is a climate battery which is a geothermal heating system that stores moisture and temperature in the first four feet of the earth under the greenhouse through a system of solar tubes and there's dozens of videos on the channel about that this is a different system hundreds of you have sent me links to citrus in the snow now I assure you I've known about that for a decade or more so I'm going to explain to you the system and then we're going to install it with you today the first thing you need is drain tile and it has to be socked and then you need dudes that are totally capable of pulling this job off and those that's top knot and Elijah down there laying out the uh, drain tile then you need a slot it has to be deeper than six or six and a half feet we recommend seven to eight this slot is 12 feet in some spots maybe 14 and then you need a closed loop of these drain tiles now in citrus in the snow they were using 8 inch and we're using 4 inch uh, they had way too much tube for what they needed so I scaled it down and we're gonna run a double 4 inch sock line in closed 300 foot loops so we're gonna have a total of 600 foot of tubing that goes out at about 6 feet and then comes down to about 12 feet and then comes through all of this earth 50 meters and then back into the greenhouse and now this closed loop that will go out and then deep and in will be bringing in 54 degree temperature into the greenhouse at all times through a small rotary fan system and he's just Top knot's down there changing the transition so that we can get up. It's going to go underneath of the cistern here, which will supply the greenhouse for water and showers. And then come here in through. So the air that comes out of the greenhouse is actually going to heat the ground at the surface, heat all the beds. And the air that comes in is just going to come in and blow air into the greenhouse at 54 degrees the inlet and the outlet so that's how we're doing it and then this whole greenhouse will provide food for Leah and I and our guests any visitors and as an added bonus it can heat our house as long as, as well as the hydronic floor from the Sun That's the plan. So, when we get this pipe light out, we'll be right back. We're here at the uh, earth tube build, and these are the tubes we're using. Uh, if you come down here and notice the sock on this one is bunched up. Uh, this is okay, but I want to tell you what's important is that this sock is complete. And, and there is a way to couple these. We're going to show you that in a minute. In order to couple them, you got to pull the sock back. Also, I want you to walk the line with me here. You see here as when they're putting the sock on, sometimes they overlap it. It should be well overlapped. This one was not, it was like this. And you can see these slits could accumulate mud and block this off. So before you bury it, all you have to do is pull the sock tight and make sure you have really good overlap on these socks. And that's what we just did there. Okay, so when it's buried, it's covered. Now, uh, come down the line with me. And I'll show you how to couple these. Come on. 
So a lot of times they'll tie the end. This is good news. This means there's no debris or animals in there. <laughs> so you're going to want to just cut that off. And then get the plastic exposed. You also want to make sure that the uh, ADS tubing, which is called drain tile, <coughs> farmers use this in their field that are flooding to... Uh, as a French drain to get the water out. So that's what this is commonly used for. It's pretty cheap. About a hundred bucks for a hundred foot roll with a sock where we are. So you can see here the socks pulled off on both sides. There's a pretty good straight cut on both sides. And this is just a standard coupler for ADS. It looks like this. It's got these a mid spacer and then these little flanges which basically are to catch the plastic. See how it snaps on? It's almost too simple. Boom! Like a python. And then, if you were listening, we're going to need to pull some sock our way and cover that coupling. See that? And then we're going to need to pull some sock this way and overlap the sock. If you want to keep these tight, I'm going to tell these guys just to tie this together or zip it. You can use a twist tie. Once it's buried, it'll be in place. So we'll be right back for the install of these tubes in just a minute. A weaver. Must do this side. What we're doing here is we're sewing it up. Sewing it up. It's almost like uh, practice for survival suturing. We had some zip ties, and now we got it tight. Let's sew it up over here, guys. Oh, no, really. Right now, Dan and Elijah are placing some old feed bags down in the uh, trench over our pipes just to keep any water that might be draining down through the soil to, from draining into our air tubes. There how we have them laid. <coughs> so what we have is two four inch tubes uh, at depth. These are the tubes coming in, not the tubes coming out. These, this is the intake into the house. And then these are going to double and they'll be curved up just like they are. And they will come back at about five feet into the greenhouse, which will be the out. So the greenhouse out is at five. At 150 feet, it curves down to 10 feet and, and gets all that 54 degree heat all the way in. And that's how you do an earth tube. Closed loop. Out at six, five or six feet, in at 10 or 12 feet. So you take the hot air out, bleed it into the surface, and cool that air the whole way in. Do it. Do it now. You can have a hot fan. Man. 